I've gotten off the plane and um, my bike's in pieces on the floor and um, there's um, Megs and Frodo putting their bikes together. <laughs> it's, um, it's all party time. But um, apparently I'm going to be hitting a hill today so it should be good. And um, why are you doing this Joel? <laughs> Hey friend, are you collecting cans? Do you mind if I film this? It's like, I'm from Brisbane and we don't do this. We don't collect cans or, or plastic. No. And it's like, you get five cents a pop, right? 10 cents, yeah. 10 cents. Yeah. Yeah. Earning a living. <laughs> no, that's great. And you don't even get your hands dirty, right? Look how dirty my hands are. Oh, really? No, that's really cool. It's such a um, wow experience. Thanks for sharing, man. So, um, I've got a whole heap of books that I can't get rid of. It's kind of making me feel a bit sad. Because it's like, I wish I could just give these books to somebody just to look after and read and eventually I could read them also, I'll get them back. Hint, hint. Uh, I, and I'm just like, it just made me realise that the more and more conceptual we get on this Wi-Fi fucking thread, it, we are just mental states of being and how much shit we're really, really wet really how it's just about how much shit we're really going to put up with like in regards to how much space do we need it is how we can become that conceptual that there's no need for anything anymore and we're supposed to be just walking around being happy adults full of life but they've taken everything away from us space so the only thing left is outdoor playgrounds where we ride our bikes and conceptualize everything it's another thing it's like with the whole art thing it's like i feel like i there's no room for it. Like, who even wants possession anymore? This whole elitist attitude is, is that we always work for the richest people. Someone's telling, giving us the richest dollars. But um, I can cope with it. It just feels really restricting. But within that restriction, there is a freedom. But at what cost? Well, I'm currently in the toilets in Adelaide. Um, it's pretty automated service, this toilet thing. I mean, it's got free touches and great music and stuff. And like, I don't know if you can see this. So I was um, hanging out with um, Christian last night in um, Adelaide. I was listening into other people's conversations because that's what I do. And um, they were talking about how Krishna understood suffering and the justification of harvesting the milk from the cow. Krishna's, Krishna's ideals are that he understands suffering, that this lifetime is suffering. I don't really know Krishna, but I think that's why he dances a lot and he sings a lot of hymns. Hey Krishna, I like your vegetables. Why would you move to Adelaide? Why would you move to Adelaide? Why would you move to Adelaide? Tell everyone about it. Really? But we're not supposed to talk about the Fight Club. No, it's the vegan Fight Club. So when we're supposed to tell everybody about it then? Yeah, because um, with the vegan Fight Club, you got to tell everyone. Yeah, because like, how do you know I'm vegan, bro? Without telling everyone. You can't, you just can't do it. No. Alright. So yeah, I won't tell anyone about the vegan flight club. No, tell everyone. All right, about all right, all right, club. all right. Adult. When 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 we say everyone, can it just be my like my lunchbox and little like Facebook community? What the two people that like you every couple of days? Like, I think you got the the um, K mixed up with um C. They they lick me. Ah, sorry. Yeah. I'm confused. Fuck man, it's just Gold Coast City, eh? 
Gold Coast.